I think it's important to start just exactly where we are like with ourselves, um, because it does start with each and every one of us individually. I think when we start to think about making a global impact or impacting the entire world, it feels like a big job um, and it can be daunting and um, daunting enough that we don't engage. Uh, but if we begin from the place that we know the best um, with ourselves, then we can start to make small movements that aggregate into something much bigger. And I think that awareness is key. And so Feldenkrais is a beautiful and brilliant partner as we start engaging the social justice work. It's also a beautiful and brilliant partner as we start engaging in the performing arts. We also need to come at this work with some authenticity, right? And that an authenticity requires a willingness to be wrong and a willingness to then engage in a conversation about maybe being wrong or um, causing harm because uh, we all swim in oppressive systems all the time and we will blunder uh, as we engage in this path. And, um, and we need to be willing to talk about it and say, I'm sorry, and, and be committed to continuing to do better. Um, and I think when we're thinking about voice in particular, um, singers know this, that voice is a, a particularly uniquely vulnerable place to live. Um, I think most people know this, even if you aren't a singer, and especially if you're one of those people that's like, no way, never am I going to sing in front of anyone else. Like you, there's a reason you know that, or that you feel strongly about that, um, because it is a vulnerable place, right? And we need to start connecting with where are the places where my voice is the one that needs to be heard in this moment? Um, and sometimes that means coming up against the places where our habits um, that we've learned or that we have consciously or unconsciously perpetuated um, that keep us silent when we shouldn't be, right? Sometimes it's, as a woman, I know that I, have received the message many times, and I will continue to receive it throughout my life of, of like, Shh, just be quieter, be meeker, don't stand in your power. Um, and so I need to recognize that so that I can move through that and beyond it. Um, and then I also have to recognize places where actually someone else's voice needs to be heard in this moment, that there's a voice that's not um, getting the attention that it deserves or that it needs that often um, is true in spaces that are predominantly white spaces where there are people of color who aren't being heard. Um, and then as a white woman, what's my job? Do I step aside? Do I use my privilege as a shield for that voice? Um, or do I amplify that voice? And of course, always give credit to, to the original speaker. 